Elizabeth Jean Scott is a tribute to Tony Scott's mother, whose full maiden name was Elizabeth Jean Scott. Many directors and writers take the opportunity with films to memorialize or pay homage to the important people in their lives, and it's quite a touching gesture when you think about it. At the end of movies, during the credits, you'll often see In Memory Of, followed by a name or several names. These are typically friends, family members, or colleagues who have passed away during the making of the film, or held some significant place in the heart or life of the filmmakers. In Spy Game, which stars Robert Redford and Brad Pitt, the tribute to Tony Scott's mother is one of those subtle yet profound touches that extends the film's reach beyond just a piece that entertains. It ties the movie back to a personal story, a personal loss. It's a moment where the filmmaker shares something intimate with every member of the audience, whether they realize it or not. After all, pauses like these resonate on a human level. It's art paying its respects to life. It's not something that generally affects the story itself, but it adds a layer of depth and connection, reminding us that behind every movie are real people with real experiences and real losses. It's a reminder that while we immerse ourselves in these fictional worlds, life outside the theater goes on with all its joys and tragedies. Spy Game itself is a complex web of espionage, mentorship, and intrigue, but those five words at the end remind us of the simple human connection that binds us all, even when it's not spelled out on screen. So next time you're at a movie and you see a name at the end under In Memory Of, know that someone somewhere was deeply affected by their passing, and this film will always hold a piece of that memory.